I am so excited to share with you our brand new product. We have an all natural beeswax for you. It's made right here in the United States and it doesn't contain any solvent. So if you're looking for a high quality wax that doesn't contain any solvent, this is the one for you. And I'm excited because we get to show you on this amazing dresser that we came across. Had a lot of damage, so we sanded it down to reveal some of the wood grain. And we discovered it has two beautiful grains, the lighter on the top and the darker on the front. So you'll get to see how this wax acts on both colors of grain. But we're also going to be painting part of the dresser, so you get to see how the wax works on that as well. Can't wait to show you. The top of this dresser actually had an extensive amount of damage, lots of water rings, it was very dry and peeling. So we sanded it off and revealed this beautiful grain. And I don't want to hide this grain with paint. So I, this is a perfect candidate for our new wax, which is an all natural beeswax. And I'm going to demonstrate right here by buttering the end of my wax brush because I don't want to dip my wax brush right into my wax and contaminate the wax. But I'll just start with one end and look at how that is making the grain pop already. And I'll just work with the grain from one end of the, the top to the other. And then as soon as I don't see that I'm spreading any more wax, I'll go ahead and reload my wax brush. And there is no solvent in this wax, so it will take a little bit longer for it to cure, but rest assured, your wood is getting nourished and protected right away. Once you have a good amount on, then before you move on to the next area, take a lint-free wax cloth, just go from one end to the other and just wipe off any excess wax. So that'll wipe off excess wax as well as help work in the wax into the surface so that your wood is getting nice and protected. But look at how that makes the grain just pop.
This is an old rickety dresser and it doesn't have the drawers in it. So it moves a little bit when I work the wax in. But the brush will really help work the wax into any grooves. I also sanded down the drawer fronts to reveal this gorgeous wood grain and there was a lot of damage especially around where the drawer pulls are but interestingly the the grain on the drawer fronts is a lot darker than the top but uh, let's just check this out and see how this looks if it ends up a lot darker or not and it, the wax is just our all-natural beeswax it is clear and there's no solvent in it but you'll just load your wax brush and work with the grain. That is stunning. It just makes this wood so rich and nourished and protected all at once. And your wax, especially when you use a wax brush, actually goes quite a long way. I'll probably be able to do this whole drawer front with just one load, one brush load of wax. Once I've got the wax applied, I will take a lint-free wax cloth and I'll just remove any excess wax. And that will help also work the wax in any further into the surface. Let's compare this drawer to one that has not been waxed yet and just check out the difference in the grain. Look at that. This is not even a dark wax. This is just all natural beeswax. That's it. The frame of the dresser has now been painted and we did a little bit of light distressing just to kind of bring out these embellishments here. But now it needs to be waxed and protected. So we'll be using the all natural uh, beeswax and we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the, with the top and the drawers. We're just gonna butter the end of the wax brush and we can work in circular motions to get into these grooves, but you'll notice that this wax doesn't alter the color of the paint at all. It simply enhances these embellishments and protects the surface. We're ready for the water test, so I'm gonna just pour a little bit of water on here. Ooh, check out how that beads up on this beautifully waxed surface, and watch how it just wipes right off. <laughs> 